Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today we have a package um, from Firestar Toys. Um, this was sponsored, let me just get that out of the way, by Firestar Toys, this video. All these figures were sent to me free of charge with the use of uh, all my codes that I got. I got code usage, so they were nice enough to send me over some really cool things. Um, they they send, have a bunch of custom figures, parts, other things, and I'm going to be looking at them. I'm just so excited because they make some seriously cool stuff. Now, I just want to say, if you want to get your own and you like what you see in this video, um, please remember to check out Firestar Toys and use code AMBRSTUDS15 for 15% off. And you will help me out a ton so I can do more videos like this and use these figures for mocks and all those sorts of things. But yeah, I'm just so excited. And with that said, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. And you know, we're just going to get right on into it because I'm so darn excited to open up this epic box. Okay, everyone, here is the package from Firestar Toys. Now, I figured we just open it up right now, and huge thank you to them again. Please use my code, do all the other things, and yeah. Ooh, wow. Um, so here's what it looks like, I guess, when you open it. So yeah, let's just get into it. I figured I'd just kind of have it there, and then I'll pull stuff out, and then we'll, like, kind of look into it. So first, ooh, yes, this is the one I was looking forward to. But it is their ca custom Captain Rex minifigure. Now, I really wanted to get this because it's just super epic. Um... So, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's get into that. The Captain Rex is honestly just sick. Now, everything, I believe the torso is actually the original official Lego torso, which is sick. Um, now, the thing I like about their 501st uh, Captain Rex, compared to every other custom one, is that it actually has the worn design. Like, the other ones all look clean and fresh. This one looks all, like, battle damage, which is what I really like about it. Now, I figure I go through the features. First, I believe this is a... Aerial Light helmet, um, Aerial Light Customs 501st Captain Rex helmet, or I keep saying 501st, but yeah. It comes with the official Lego visor. You get a Captain Rex head, you get two faces. I don't know if this is unique to him, but, um, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of the face. You get this really cool and neat-feeling cloth piece. It is, like, that is a sturdy cloth piece. Then you get their custom-printed arms, which is awesome. And, yeah, so on top of that, you get his two pistols. Not sure what brand these are. I know they're not, uh... Clonomy Customs, so I'm going to go ahead and say they're either Aerial Light or Brick Arms, probably Aerial Light, and you also get his waist cape, which is, again, sick, I believe that's custom cut, and you also get these awesome leg prints, they're not the official Lego leg prints, but the torso is, which is awesome, I love this figure, um, I, not, I believe he's going for 30 euros, don't quote me on that, but it's sick, like, I love it. I just want to mention that the packaging on these guys is sick. But it says, let's unbox the next one. I believe Captain Rex right there. And this one's a bit of a unique uh, haul. So I figured to pick Captain Rex first. Let's do uh, this one. Now, this is the man, the myth, the legend, Dave Filoni, the director of Star Wars, of the Clone Wars, and one of the directors in The Mandalorian. Everyone loves him. Um, and I saw this. It's only like 14. Um, so this was just great. And, you know, let's just... You know, I'll just open it right now, make it easier. Yeah, so you're just going to pull out a card. They give this really neat packaging. And here is Dave Filoni. Now, Dave Filoni is very cool. Um, so he comes with, obviously, his infamous cowboy hat, which you'd uh, take on and off. I believe that's a custom print. I, I, I thought the print looked different, to be honest. It looked different on the computer. And you also get his shirt with the Wolfpack clone trooper design. You also get jeans which is pretty sick, but I love that Wolfpack Clone Trooper design, and it looks absolutely great. I think a great thing they could have included was, like, maybe Commander Wolf's helmet with it, um, because, you know, he loves wolves, so that would have been really neat. And he also comes with a green lightsaber, which I find interesting. I think I would have given him, like, something else. But Dave Filoni, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, who doesn't want that? That's that's just awesome. Um, now here's my one of my favorite ones that we got, and it is uh, Cal Kestis. Ladies and gentlemen, Cal Kestis. Now, Cal Kestis is really cool. First of all, because he is a fellow redhead, so that's automatically an instant win. And I believe they took, actually, oh my gosh, look at this. So that that's dedication right there. So they took, I believe this is the uh, the hair from, I, I don't know which is from, uh, it's the advent calendar with uh, the, the rebel pilot, and they basically painted it red. Like, you'd see that like, there's this still the tan color in there, which is crazy. And you get Cal's face, um, you get a dual printed face, so if you want to have a dual print, and then you also get a sick print, like you'd see, like, it's, like, crazy. Um, he has, like, all the little details in there. He has his belt, he has his little, like, bacta, 
pack, which is really cool. And then we're going to switch his hair around again. I like this face personally better. And you get the whole print. You get his lightsaber on top of that. And you also get arm printing, which is um, great. Now, uh, I, I've seen a lot of people take this figure that Firestar has made. And, you know, they can, like, put, like, this cape over it. And, you know, you put, like, belt over it. Because, you know, Cal is prone to wearing ponchos. So there's, like, the new one that came out in Luke's Land Speeder. There's lots of ponchos you could use. This is... One of the only ones I had or could find, so I put that on him, and that's pretty sick. Now, everything on this is custom. Uh, obviously, the figure parts are printed on real official Lego, um, which is great. So you can see that. So if anyone's concerned about it being knockoff, it is not. It is completely 100% genuine. Um, I, I just love their stuff. It is really cool. Now, we also obviously come to the brown hand. One brown hand with a glove. One doesn't have a glove, which I think is neat. Um, because that, like, it was like that in the game. I still have yet to play the game. I still want to. But I like Cal Kestis a lot. And let's move into, I believe, one of our last figures. Then we have some really cool stuff to get into. Okay, so here is the box. And we're going to pull out. Who is that? It is none other, ladies and gentlemen, than, you guessed it, um, the famous, ever-famed, uh, Wilro Hood. Now, Wilro Hood, you know, let me just move this out of the way. Honestly, one of the cool Star Wars characters, um... Very fun dude, and he comes with the Canton, Canton, Cantona, uh, like the Beskar was hidden in this, and I wanted to see what this was like. So basically, it's like a stud inside, I'm not sure, this is like a custom mold almost. It's like a cup mold, and then you take a stud in there, and then on top of that you put this little uh, piece, and you put it in him, here. Now this could also be used for Mando, or uh, your, uh, what's his name, your Cobb Vanth, but yes, this is uh, Wilro Hood. From the famous scene in Empire Strikes Back where he runs around with the ice cream maker. Now he comes with two faces, and I love him. Again, printed all on all genuine Lego. This hair piece, I believe, is also custom painted. Because it's like wedging to the hair. Yep, custom painted. They spray painted it, I think. That, that would make most sense to me. But they spray painted the hair. That's just sick. Um, now you get really cool arm printing, which could be really useful on like anyone. Rebel Pilots. Um, he was supposedly, like, a rebel that was carrying some super cool plans. Um, if you guys don't know the story of Will Rowe Hood, he's a uh, famed classic in the Star Wars fandom. So, he's just really cool. He was pretty affordable, too, um, in terms of all the other figures they have. He was really neat, and I really like Will Rowe Hood. That is great. Now, let me show you some of the custom parts we got. Here I get my Mando minifigure um, for this next part. But, yes, so, basically, they, they're attached to this little uh, piece of paper. It's like a little advertisement that's pretty neat um and yes so these are the accessories they have like later let, let's let's read this look they have 20,000 here later, 20, different minifigure parts and accessories and they have like hundreds of custom designs like that's that's a lot of stuff 20,000 1 million in stock that that's crazy um but yes so here let's let, let's see what we have so we have some arms in here i'll get to those in a bit but first i wanted to show you the best scar now, this is sick. Now, they took basically a 1x2 tile and printed it to look like the Beskar, and this comes with, like, a lot of figures. I was gonna get the client, but then I was like, eh, I'd rather get some of those other ones. And, yes, so you get that. Um, with the Beskar, you get the Imperial logo, and that is just sick with Mando. Uh, and this is him with his old armor, so that works. And then on top of that, you can get, this is, like, a 3 bucks or something, you can get the plush child um, minifigure. And it says, adorable. That is adorable. But yes, you can get your own Baby Yoda plush. And it's like he has a little, uh, his little cup of soup and a little heart. Um, it looks pretty, um, not like the Lego figure. But other than that, you'd like say, look, I got, look what I got for Christmas. I got a Baby Yoda plush box. But yes, so Mando can do his holiday shopping in style this year. Um, get with his Baby Yoda and his, uh, uh, Yoda, or his Baby Yoda plush box, and his Beskar, you know, that, that's some good currency. Now, we also got arms. In the last video, what happened was when, when, I, when I got stuff from Firestar Toys, here, I'll move the box, that was it, and basically, uh, I asked for Shock Trooper arms, but I meant, like, the, uh, uh, clone Shock Troopers, and they sent the Imperial ones, which is fine, so I'm gonna swap these out on my, uh, Clone Shock Trooper and see what they look like. It's a really easy way to do this. You just basically pop them in. It's just a pain to take them out. You have to be very careful, especially with older figures such as this one, because, um, you know, the old arms are fragile and you don't want them to snap. Um, that's happened to me, like, a few times just in the last week. 
which is kind of sad. But yes, so that looks much better um, than having the Imperial ones. They look much more accurate, but that's cool. Now let's overview what we got, because it's sick. Now, here it all is, all of the Firestar minifigures in their glory. Now, these guys retail anywhere from, like, 15 to, like, 40 bucks. They have some crazy ones, um, but sadly, I wanted to choose get more figures instead of getting some of the super detailed ones. We'll get some of those in the future, uh, obviously, if you guys are able to use the code. But yes, so in total, we got basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Um, well, 1, 2, 3, 4 minifigures, and we got all the cool accessories. And that was a, a hefty sum, but it was very cool. Now, these guys are obviously, again, I got for free. I just want to clarify that so that way everyone knows um, because it just helps me make the videos and if you use the code and all that. But, yeah, so obviously the best scar, that's really cool. Wanted to get that out of the way. I believe I actually did order the Mando arms. I don't know. I'll have to check my order. Mando has, like, they have custom printing arms for the Mando. Um, so I'll have to check with that. I don't, I, I might not. Then I think, obviously, my favorites are Cal and Rex. These are the ones I was most excited to get. Um, honestly, I've been waiting forever because I was, like, really cool. Now, the Rex is sick. I think Rex makes the top. Um, I was, like, originally was get just gonna get Rex because I can't find original parts to him anywhere. And I have, like, his official capes. But I don't have his, uh, official helmet or, or anything. So, I, what I might do is I might switch out these capes with the official capes. With, from my decal, that I have on my decal figure. And the cow. That, that is a sick figure. I just wanted it because it, I don't know. I, I like Cal Kestis as a minifigure. I just think it's neat. And chances are Lego's never going to make one. They made one Battlefront um, 2020 or 2017 set, and they made one uh, two Battlefront 2015 sets. And they have yet to make one for Fallen Order or Squadrons. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Now, we also got these boys over here, which is sick. Wilbur Hood, great character. I'm actually really happy I got this one. I really like the Cantana. Um, that's neat, and it's nice to have with, like, now I have the Beskar piece as well, so that's really cool. Maybe we'll see him in the Mandalorian, I don't know. Jon Favreau is known to do stuff like that. Um, and then, yes, I, I think this is one of the more funny ones, uh, where you get the plush child. I think that's a really novel idea, and Wilbur Hood, no. And, yeah, I, I like that a lot. That, that's really neat for three bucks. It's a nice little brick, or three O's, I don't know what it is in American dollars. Yes, and then here is the Dave Filoni one. I'm kind of disappointed with the face print. I think they could have nailed that down better. I actually think I have an idea. Let me be right back. So what I did was I took the Cassian Andor minifigure. So Firestar, if you're watching this, I'd personally recommend that you uh, switch out that head with like a Cassian Andor from uh, the Rogue One sets. That head, because that looks like a lot more to the likeness of Dave Filoni or something along those lines. I just honestly think this head, um, this is really sound like a bad comparison. It looks like Ron Howard almost, uh, the director of Solo, um, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I really like um, the torso and the legs and all that. Again, the head wasn't my favorite. But other than that, I just wanted to point out how funny the uh, Captain Rex face really looks. That's hysterical. Um, but yes, so again, huge thank you to Firestar Toys. I really appreciate them for sending me this over. Again, if you want to check out their site and get any of the arm printing for basically any LEGO clone trooper, if you want to get any of these pieces, um, just use my code when you're checking out. You're going to save a ton. And yeah, with that said, please remember to like, subscribe, turn on the bell, do all the other things. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out and stay awesome.